Hey there guys, Neil here with a special feature slash service review. So this week is going to be a little, or this particular screencast is going to be a little bit different. Uh, what I want to do is share an easy way of uh, sharing your book updates or whatever you're reading with your followers. So let's say you want to share whatever you're reading, want to read, the finished reading to your friends, let's say on Facebook or your followers on Twitter or even to a book, book club that you host, so you own the page or you're an, an administrator on a Facebook page, and you wanna easily share um, your book updates, then this can be done in, with a combination of Goodreads and If This Then That, so you don't have to really do much aside from updating the status of your book. So the first thing you'll do, um, assuming of course, or it has two assumptions, that you have a Goodreads account and an If This Then That account, uh, you will, of course, need a, a, the account, a free account with uh, Twitter or Facebook as well if you want to share that way as well. Um, so what you'll do is you'll open up Goodreads. Um, if you are doing it from your mobile device, you will need to open up the desktop version of the page so that you can get to the RSS feed or RSS link in your profile. So um, basically, I loaded the page. I'm already logged in. So I uh, clicked on my profile so it loads that. And then under uh, my recent updates, when you scroll to the right a little, or look to the right of that bar, you'll see an RSS link. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna copy the link address, which I will use in If This Then That. So from there, I'll create a simple recipe. So um, I'll start a new one. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to share or create a new recipe using RSS. And um, from there, I will easily do something like share it to uh, uh, Twitter for example so uh, I'm selecting the RSS trigger uh, assuming it comes up uh, let's try it under feed so it's actually my bad it's under feed um, so when I when every time it sees a new feed item it'll I'll share it wherever I want so the feed URL that we uh, saved or copied from earlier, the RSS feed, I'll paste into um, this box and then hit next. And then I get um, all the options for wherever I want to share to. So you can share to any compatible place. So if you want to do SMS, LinkedIn, um, email, anything like that. So in this case, I want to, for example, share my updates to Twitter. So um, assuming you have not already done this, you'll need to sign in or save your credentials in if then that to Twitter and you can get a bunch of different um, um, post types that you can do. So just a regular tweet with a link, a tweet with image, update your profile picture. Um, I haven't actually tried that if you wanna update your book, what you've recently read or added to your shelves as your profile picture. But in this case, I'm gonna post a tweet with an image, so I'll hit the plus button. And you get a few different options, or you'll see, you see entry text as a default option. What I'm gonna do here is that you can see, you see all the different ingredients that are available. So I'm gonna select entry title. Um, I'm gonna add a dash in there just for the sake of formatting, and then entry um, author. And then you see the, the image URL is already posted, is already there under image URL. So when you make your post with um, image, if your book has an image, it'll show up in your Twitter profile and then you'll hit continue. So now anytime there's a new feed item, it'll be posted to your my Twitter feed. And then my notifications are automatically set to on. So anytime this recipe runs, it'll let me know that it's been posted. So it's kind of like a confirmation for me that um, that twip post has been made and then I'll hit finish and that saves that mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. earlier today I actually um, did uh, Add a book to my shelf. It's the book novel that Into the Badlands is based off of so that's a TV show on AMC and I now and the uh, pilot episode is actually interesting so I kind of want to read the novel So what I did was I added to my shelf. So now when I go to my profile I can scroll up and you see right here that I want to read Monkey, The Journey to the West, which is the novel, the old, I believe, Japanese novel that Into the Badlands is based off of. The image isn't that great as far as uh, clarity of what it looks like. The Facebook version is a little bit clearer, but um, it provides a, um, it pulls the best image it can. And um, 
it will also provide a link to the post and Goodreads. So if you want to see what other people are uh, saying about it and get more information about the novel, that can be done as well. But uh, that is all for that. So it might, if it's a, it might be a little bit confusing or if you have trouble finding it or setting things up, uh, you can always email me at headphonesneil at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. And of course, you can find me on Goodreads at PatelN01 as well. So if you want to add me there and uh, get my latest updates and all of that, uh, be sure to add me there. I'm happy to add you back as well. But that is all for this particular screencast. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.